Hello everyone. Um, so I've got this uh, new balcony and what better excuse to buy new plants. And in the last couple of weeks since I've been in this new city, I went to supermarkets, look at what kind of uh, plants they have on offer, but also to some garden centers. And I bought uh, quite a few very nice plants. And looking at the plants that I bought, there's, they're actually like two dominant themes. And I think that's something I really want to go for in uh, on my new balcony. Uh, the first one is purple. I have a lot of purple color, uh, purple plants and uh, or shades of purple. And the other one is texture. So I want to have like uh, a little bit more excitement when it comes to different textures uh, on my balcony. And yeah, I will show you uh, yeah, the plants that I bought essentially. So let's start with my all time favorite plant. Uh, which is a heucora. Of course, I couldn't have a balcony without a heucora. In Germany, heucoras are called Purpurglöckchen. So this is a heucora melting fire. And it just has this yeah, wonderful purple color and yeah, I just love the texture of these leaves so curly in a way and ah yeah and they're winter hardy so i bought them in autumn but they will survive uh, the winter so that's very good to know uh, when you buy um, plants that late in the season and then something i haven't actually bought before those are heucorellas and i feel like they look very autumn -y. And yeah, Cucurellas in German are Schaumglöckchen. Uh, quite a cute name. So you can see, uh, I think the older leaves turn slightly white with this dark red burgundy center, but the new leaves, the fresh leaves are more green. But I think this goes quite well together with the uh, purple of the Heucura. I think they match very well. Yeah, so this, uh, uh, Heucorella or Schaumglöckchen is a gold zebra, just in case you're interested in interested in this plant. So they, uh, Heucorellas don't tolerate as much uh, sun as Heucorellas do, but uh, I will put them into a slight, uh, like not the most uh, sunny spot on my balcony. Okay, to continue the purple theme, I bought some more plants. So, so this is an Alphena thera, uh, and oh, I think that's such a beautiful purple. Ooh. Especially when you see the under leaves, it's even shinier, the purple. Mm. Yeah, so you can, like, uh, there's a lot of purple foliage interest so far. Uh, and I have even more purple foliage interest, but it goes more into pink. Look at this. Oh, so this dark purple center, but then slight uh, pink edges. Yeah, I have to like, they look a little bit dry. I have to water them properly a little bit more, but yeah, very excited about this one as well. Then, oof, I bought this sedum and just to finally have, uh, because I don't have a, have a lot of uh, flower or bloom interest, but if you look closely, oh, aren't they the most delicate blooms that are forming here? And they're like all over the plant. Uh, yeah, so it's like, like it has like succulent leaves, but they are uh, winter hardy as well. And uh, I was thinking of maybe placing them somewhere here to like spill over a little bit. This might look uh, beautiful. Oops, and one fell off. And speaking of succulent-like leaves, I have these Sempervivums. Um, 
like there are three different types of sympathizers in one. Uh, these green ones with purple peaks, then a purely green one, and then a more uh, then a darker purple uh, sympathizer. Yeah, I will put them somewhere in the on the balcony as well. Okay, and so this is a lot of uh, foliage and a lot of purple interest, but I talked about texture. So something I really want to get into now is like a grasses. Oh, and I found these beautiful grasses on offer at the garden center. So those are Penicetum alopecuroides, and they are winter hardy. And yeah, just looking at them, I feel like I'm always, I really want to touch them. And uh, oh, they're just beautiful. I need to, of course, yeah, they were on offer. So you can, you have a lot of spent, uh, like spent stuff here. I will just cut this off. But oh, I think these seed heads are just very beautiful. And if you look closely, you can see the uh, seeds. Uh, Yeah, and I bought uh, three of them, so um, yeah, I'm very excited to use them in my uh, arrangements. And then finally, a plant that isn't really an outdoor plant, uh, but uh, I had some in London and I wanted to, not this particular type, but, uh, but again, it goes quite well with the purple theme, even though this is more like black and red. Is this polka dot plant? So that's gone. That's one of the indoor plants that I actually bought. So I would say like it's black leaves with uh, red polka dots, and oh, I'm very excited about this. And I think it needs uh, probably a light pot, and then it really shines. It really pops. Uh, anyway, so uh, I'm very excited to have an excuse to buy all these new plants and I hope you uh, liked what I bought and yeah in a future video I will show you how I pot these plants and until then see you around bye bye